I know that ain't who I think it is. I hit him with that act, reach him. Y'all gonna learn today. I'm a teacher. That act, reach him. Get into the bag, get into the bag like Berserker, boy. Fuck around, I'ma hurt you, boy. Stick jab, sidestep, uppercut you, boy. The champ is here, you can't survive in my circle, boy. No, yeah. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to my peoples and my guys, look alive, look alive. It's your boy, Ag Reacher, with another episode of the Jab Jamboree. Uh, salute to my bro, Stephen Elder Mac. Yeah, he, because look, Stephen Elder Mac, this is, you, you know, like I know, regardless if you undisputed, and I'm not taking that away. I'm one of the guys that was rocking with a new way when all my brothers were saying, oh, nah, new way ain't that good and stuff like that. And I was telling them like, nah. Nah, he, he he could he could fight, but I look at who you beat that person for, as well as you getting the undisputed titles to be in the Earl Spence win was, you know what I mean, um, just as you know what I mean was was way better than Marlon uh, Tapala's. Salute to my Filipino brother, because I got to keep it a stack. Oh, yeah, 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 KG, my fault, KG. KG, that's a fact. That's a fact. You was the only one with me. That's that's true. I forgot. I forgot. See, I, I'm thinking about uh, I'm thinking about the old days before, you know, Supreme Beast and all of that, when it was just Mac, me, and another fella. You know what I mean? And, 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 and steals. And how they used to get at him. Yeah, you, I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't never remember you saying anything bad about a new way. But he is he is number two. Because I look at it as um the person that you got the belt off of. And that Earl Spence win, I'm sorry. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard, even if somebody do get you know another undisputed you know what i mean and then i didn't like how a new way wasn't as confident as terence crawford was when terence crawford said he'll go up to 168 and new way is talking about he want to stay at 122 which i'm not mad at i'm not mad at but just look at the difference I'm not mad at that, but you got to look at the difference. There is a big difference there. Let me throw on my cover, man, and talk. And talk. I got to keep it real. The monster was very frustrated against uh, Marlon. Tapias. Tapias, yo, let me tell you something. I... Un I underestimated him. I did pick the 10th round, you know, in my mind. I didn't announce it because I didn't realize that this fight was after Christmas, but I'm kind of glad it was because I was off and I was able to watch it. Let me uh, get in the comments. My fault. Uh, he said, Japan's monster always been good to me. Let's see if you know the Mac. He said, yeah, I ain't mad at him staying fighting people we don't know at 122 <laughs> he sounded like Stephen know the mac you stupid and look I, i'm gonna keep like i said I, i'm gonna keep it a stack shoes you called them out and i gotta admit monster just broke him down damn good fight though now it was a good fight he did break him down too kg he he did but there was a lot of frustration in that fight with a subpar opponent who a lot of people would have thought, you know, a new way would have just ran over like that. You know, I, 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 he, he did better than I expected him to. I expected the monster, even though I did say he was going to go late because I watched his previous fights and I knew uh, uh, Marlon Tobias was tough. 
but I I just I didn't I thought it was just gonna be a straight and new way fence. I didn't see Tobias being able to hang on. See where Tobias to me messed up is when he was in the high guard. He did better in the shoulder roll position. When he was trying to Philly shell and shoulder roll, he did a lot better. He took the weight off of a lot of a new ways punch punches, a lot of steam off of that. Uh Mm, he said, do you think uh, Tobias would be cool boy Steph? That's a good question, KG. Styles make fights. From what I was told, Styles make fights. So I don't possibly. But cool boy Steph is moved on to 126. So we got to see how he looked there, but he said, not a question. That's a statement. Oh, so, he, oh, you saying that he would be cool. And look, he probably would. He probably would. Cause Tobias ain't whack. Tobias showed me a lot. I think he was a little bit actually bigger than a new way. To be honest with you, I think he was bigger than a new way. And I don't know why I had the worst headache watching this fight. Maybe it's watching Tobias taking them shots and getting punched like that. It gave me, like, I still got the headache right now. Yeah, he did. He had very good patience. Um, he actually countered decently, but he kept countering the same way. So, uh, D man junior, my brother what's going on, man. And make sure if you haven't subscribed to my other channel, comic cons. Yeah. We in the building with that. Uh, uh, I broke down the top 10 Christmas characters of all time, but, um, yeah, a new way. I gotta keep it real. New way he 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 had some problems in this fight. Not saying you're gonna be perfect in every fight, but with an opponent like this, I'm just feeling like a lot of people uh just felt like he would just mull over this guy. Oh, you said drop the link. Hold on. Dang. All right, get my Yeah, that's my kid's channel, man. Um, let me know. Um, I thought I thought I'd put it on my community page. I ain't talking about you, D Man Jr. I'm talking about other people that haven't been over there yet. I gotta get KG on there because I'm about to start covering these this Invincible series over there. I don't know if y'all watch Invincible. It's a very good show. It's it's doing so good that another uh the same comic company that owned Invincible that did uh I believe what was it, Ultimate Dragon. My older brother had them comics. And he I gotta hit up Jeffrey. He said he used to watch it. He's the one that told me about it. He told me that they Amazon want to do a series on that. I believe he was like a dragon cop or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, he could take a punch and take it back, but he he did counter good with the right with the right hook. He did it though, KG. He did like it was a point where um he it was one round where he landed it twice on the new way, and uh. A new way. I felt. I felt. I, I seen a bit of frustration. It wasn't nothing to where it was nothing that a new way couldn't handle them. I don't think it wasn't nothing that a new way couldn't handle. But um, he would land the counter uh, right hook over the top, and a new way kept on his straight right because uh, Tobias is a lefty and a new way 
is uh, orthodox. A new way for good, though. I'm not trying to say that a new way didn't fight good, but it just feels like to me he was a tad bit uh, frustrated because I I feel like in my heart a new way thought he would get him out of there. Uh, that one. Uh, a bit quicker than what he did. Dropping the link. There's a link to the channel right now. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't, I, I don't think it was just that. I think it was a combination of things, KG. It wasn't just that. It was, it was that and him getting landed on. Because I'm going to keep it real. The last couple fights, I haven't been seeing nobody land like they landed, like Tobias landed on uh, Inoue. I got to be, I got to keep it a stack. And he was getting caught with some good shots. He was. He definitely was. Like, I, I definitely, I paid all attention to that. With my headache, I paid attention to that. Uh, Brian, uh, salute champ. Uh, happy holidays to you too. Whoever brings in the holidays and stuff like that, salute to y'all. Um, yeah, but that's it, it. Was still a good fight though. It was still a good fight, and the new way did. I agree with KG with that part. Like the new way did still break him down. He definitely broke him down, but he was getting caught a lot too. Uh, I remember even the straight left hand landing in there in the beginning. He like double tapped with the jab, Tobias, and then it just landed. You know what I mean? He was going to the body when the new wave was going to the body. He was able to endure for a while. Um, he got dropped twice in the fight. I don't remember the rounds. But like I said, he did he did a fairly, fairly good job. He he did. He he tried his best. Uh, I, I I felt in my mind it would end late. I was like, yeah, 10th round. If if he make it past the 10th round, then, you know what I mean? It would surprise me. And uh, he kind of – he could have. I think he should have stayed in the shoulder roll position and uh, uh, negated that right hand, but – he chose to go in the high guard position. I can't knock him because I don't know what he was feeling. His face was getting bruised up and stuff like that. And I don't ever want to see nobody taking no internal damage. So I don't know what he was feeling because he was taking good shots all night. Uh, Stephen Max said Tobias had one or two good uppercuts too yeah he did land a good left uppercut he definitely did land a good left uppercut he definitely did i can't i can't take that away from him either can't take that away from him at all because he he definitely landed that Um, as far as them, cause I know what they're going to try to do now that, oh, Denise, Denise Ward, how you doing? Happy holidays, queen. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in the, in, uh, what the old timers say in many moons. Haven't seen you in many moons. It's great to see you. Hope, hope all is well. He said, yeah, I agree with KG with that. It was a couple of them that landed flush, 
But then there was a couple of them that he probably, if he would have placed them right, the punch placement was right, he probably would have hurt a new way more. So I agree with KG with that. Yeah, I'm a fair man. You know what I'm saying? If I see something that I agree with, I agree with no matter who it is. But I, I, I agree with that because I, I seen that too. I noticed that myself. I was like, you know, you can't keep doing the same thing. But then the new way was missing certain shots in the middle towards the later rounds because I was like, he's doing the same thing. So then he had to make an adjustment. He said, that's why I said only one or two. Oh, okay, okay. My fault, my fault, Stephen on the Mac. My fault. My fault. You did say that. But um, I got to be honest, like, as far as... I, I, I don't know how well he does at 126. It depends on the opponent, because Shoe Shoe called... A new way out. Shoo Shoo called the new way out. So Shoo Shoo believed he could be the new way. What you think about that, KG? If you're in the comment section, Shoo Shoo believed he could be the new way. But I know Shoo Shoo going to fight him at his at 126. Nah, but I'm I'm sure Shushu will want him to move up to 126. To be honest with you, um, like I said, if he if he stay at 122, I can't really be mad at him or knock him because he's undisputed now and he could just take on all comers at. But I in my mind, in my heart, I feel like he felt something against a big 122 pounder that made him be like, I right, look. Maybe I shouldn't rush to go up to 26 right now. That might not be a good idea right now. And then, you know, there's people entertaining him fighting Javante Davis, which I'm favoring Tank in that fight. Too big, man. He said, tell... Negroes to stop calling down to fighters. That is irritating to me. He said, I don't bet against Shushu 122 only four pounds. Yeah, I'll fave tank too. He, oh, yeah, it's four pounds, but it's a lot when you fight him. Believe it or not, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's a skill real big. Like, Shushu ain't even a small 126 pounder. He looked like he ready to go up to 130, if you ask me. He said, yeah. He said, uh, Stephen Odomack said, yeah, if they don't, if they're not in your weight class, leave them alone. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, I'm not going to knock Shushu all the way because maybe Shushu felt like he thought that he was going to go right up after that because there's nothing else to do. And KG said, if the... MF -er 
come to your weight class, then you call him out. And Stephen R. Max said that's on them not to fight close to they walk around weight. Nah, that's a fact. And look, I'm not going to get mad. I agree with KG on this, too. Like, I'm not going to get mad if in a new way don't take the fight with you shoot. Like, you know what I mean? He's not at 126 right now. I agree with that. You know what I mean? So he shouldn't have to get the pressure put on him. Like he a point guard and they ISO and everybody and all that. He shouldn't have to worry about that. He never said he was going to go up to 26. All we doing is speculating and talking. So I'm not going to get at a new way on that. You know what I'm saying? If he want to stay at the weight class, like he says, and get a couple fights in at 122, he's allowed to do that. He just became un- – and it's not like he didn't just earn this belt. He he earned this. Uh, Stephen Elder Mack, yeah, I thought that too. He said, I thought the monster was going to move up. And then he said, yeah, I won't be mad if he stay at 122. He came up from super small weight. Yeah, he did. So I'm not – like I said, I'm not gonna get at him either. Like he never, he it never came out of his mouth that he was gonna move up. So I can't be mad at him. You know what I mean? Now what I thought is different than what came out of his mouth. You know what I mean? I thought after this fight and he won it, I thought he would be like, yeah, let me go up to 126 and play around and try to beat Terrence Crawford in the race and stuff like that. You know, because now Terrence Crawford got company in the four belt era, two time undisputed champion as far as male. And I knew he would do it. The only thing that's going to put Terrence Crawford ahead of him is the person that he beats to get the belt. He said, I'm gonna get on you though, act when you're in it. I I I I gotta holla at I gotta holla at the big homie about that. Gotta holla at the big homie about that, uh KG. I ain't go for it. Oh shoot, uh shoot, you know, you know you'd be one of the first people, you know, to know when it happens. So I don't know why you're acting like that. You know you're going that you know I'm definitely gonna hit you up and let you know what's going down, when, where how and why, you know, so you already know. Stephen Other Max said he earned all his belt. Nah, he did. He did. He definitely did. He dethroned somebody, and this is in the new ways, my man, that I didn't even think that he could beat. And then he ended up beating him. Oh, they did. All right, so I didn't watch it that long. He said, uh, Stephen Odermatt said his team mentioned Tank's name after Cool Boy's fight. That's what I didn't like. Look, bro, he go up there, play them games all he want. Play them games. And look, I think he'll still do good against Tank. I'm on. Uh, Matter of fact, I hit, I hit you up. You working? Are you working today, Kay? I gotta hit up. I gotta hit up Kano too. You know what I mean? My 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 phone been misconstrued, and like I said, ever with the iPhone, I don't know how to get all them contacts back. I don't know how to get all them contacts back. He said, I agree what he said. He said, Stephen Elder Mac, Stephen Elder Mac, I gotta bang the gavel on you. If Apple products don't don't run your life, like my little man said, my nephew, 
Apple products don't run your life. Now we got to have a serious conversation. It's funny because I was watching a movie called The Blackening. And the dude that ended up being the killer in that movie, he had an Android. He said, actually, I'm an Android user. And then one of the girls was like, "Uh uh-uh, we don't condone that. I was cracking up. I was on the floor rolling because, you know, I just be not too long ago. Maybe I've been with like iPhone for like two, three years. I was rocking with Android for a minute. And once I found out that Apple could protect your identity a little bit better, I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't mess with, uh, I can't mess with Android. I'm after all, I'm a businessman now. You know what I mean? We got to protect our identity. Come on, D-Man Jr. Seriously, bro? He said, Droid World is the best. Oh, my God. Where's my gavel at? KG, you hear this? Blasphemy? Stephen Ono Max said, Team Galaxy, like five years. Laugh out loud. Oh, my God. Y'all, it's horrible. Oh, my God. Let my nephew have been over there. I've been like, yo, I got two Android users right now. He'd have been like, he'd have been shaking his head. Dude, only five years old. He think he's 40. The way, the way he think. He said, he said, Apple made it a hot line. I mean, Android made it a hot line. Apple made it a hot song. That's a fact. That's facts right there. That's a fact. Steve L. DVC, y'all laughing because y'all know it's true. He, he right. Oh, my God. Brian, don't tell me that. You a droid user, too? Oh, my God. Where's... Nah, I got to get my gap. This is too much. Where, where my gas will go? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <sighs> I ain't want to have to do this early in the morning, but I got to bang the gavel on y'all. I got to bang the gavel on y'all. I'm about to start sending y'all out iPhone 7. Y'all can start from there and y'all can build because I love y'all to death. We're going to start y'all with a seven. And then once y'all repent, we get y'all better. We get y'all like the 14, the 13, or something like that. And the 15. We After y'all repent for y'all sins. Because that's horrible. It's horrible. Should nobody have to be an Android user? <laughs> he said, I want my songs. As a rate told Joy to let true. <clears throat> it ain't about that though. It's about protecting your identity and protecting yourself from scammers. It's not about all that other stuff. Protect your identity and protect yourself from scammers. He said, he said, <laughs> Stephen L. Max, stupid. He said, I can't download Game Boy on my iPhone because I play my old Pokemon. Which Pokemon you play, Stephen L. Max? You play uh, the yellow version? You play the blue or the red version? Which one? Or you play that, what, what, what's that game that the kids was playing recently? Uh... I ain't gonna fry. I was playing it for a second too. I can't even cap. Uh, Pokemon Go, where you could get. They told me somebody fell off a cliff trying to get. Man, listen, that game should be banned. That game should be banned. Like kids is falling off a cliff trying to get Pokemons because that only that Pokemons. I think he was trying to get a Mew or a Mew Two. I don't blame him because back in my day. Shoot, you and you too. You had them holographics. You was the man. Um, 
he said it's he said it's really just that for me brian said he said red blue yellow all of them gold and silver no new ish he said no pokemon go over here i'm old i'm an old ninja he said back in our day it yo i'm gonna keep it real i was real i was a kid playing that bro like i was like a, a baby playing that bro and i i was nice still i was nice still i was nice still keep it a stack got it that i ain't gonna lie it, it wasn't bad after the regular pokemon it got bad maybe after once i started hitting puberty it got bad when it went to like uh what was it after a regular pokemon uh Jodo wasn't bad, but once they started going to like Indigo and all of that, I was older, so I didn't know what was going on. But dag man, y'all making this about Pokemon. Let's let's talk about the monster. The monster is a Pokemon. They said the monster is a Charizard. Oh, so I, so you, so you stopped that Jodo. Now, Jodo, I, I, I was still rocking out. It's like once it got into Indigo, I hit like puberty and stuff like that. So I couldn't. Yeah, I could. After that, it was it was a wrap. After that, he saw me Ash. I mean, it was cool though. It was cool. I don't understand what's going on now. But uh, there's a new way of Charizard, Stephen L. The Mac. Would you consider? Would you consider uh, a new way uh, uh, a Charizard? That's how he living right now. His Pokemon power is one fifty. Cause I don't know, unless he move up, I don't really see nobody. I don't really see nobody like. He said. He said Yu Gi Oh. Yu Gi Oh game was dope. Pokemon was, uh, young for me. Oh, okay, okay. Use more. Yu-Gi-Oh was was fire. I'm gonna keep it real. Yu-Gi-Oh was fire. I ain't go for. I still haven't watched all the episodes. You can't even watch all the Pokemon episodes, even though they got them all on Netflix. That's going to take you eight years. I didn't realize how many episodes they had, and they don't even call it regular Pokemon no more, man. It's like it's like Indigo League or something like that, but. I don't know. I, I hate when they change stuff, man. Stuff that was good. He said, he said I seen all the Yu-Gi-Oh's. See, if y'all want to talk like this, make sure y'all sub to my children's channel. That's why I got the children's channel for. It. You know what I mean? This is why I got the children's channel. Y'all don't start making this about Pokemon. <laughs> Well, I know you sub, Stephen Elder Mac. You sub. But, oh, uh, yeah, man. Let's get back to the monster. I, I just want to say this. Um, I'm looking forward, man. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to see what he do next. I got a feeling, and, and let me say this, too. Please stop putting this man fights on the week. Could we figure out how to get him on a Friday going into Saturday morning? 
He said, never watched it. Oh, Brian, so see, that's crazy. How you watch something? I mean, you played a game. So don't Yu-Gi-Oh! wasn't a game first. I thought it always was a series first because I was a kid, a, a little little kid, real little kid watching that and then going on a school bus, like elementary. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm surprised. He said Majin Vegeta. He said they live in Japan. Uh, <laughs> yo, you stupid. <laughs> you stupid. Uh, he said. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was the cartoon, then the cards, then the video games. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was like that. Because uh, I remember that cartoon. He said, never watched him. My kids watched him. I just played the game. Wow, that's crazy. The series, It was actually a good show, though. To, to give them credit on that was actually a good show. He said, my son put me, oh my God, I got to bang the gavel on you, Brian. I bang the gavel on you. How you ain't know about Dragon Ball Z? I can understand Naruto and all the mother, but come on, bro. But anyway. Oh, um, monster new way. He can stay at that division. He can stay there. He can fight who he want. He earned that. Oh, um, I'm not going to be mad at him. Like I said, because he never said that he was going to move up and challenge himself after that. He might have maxed out because he go up any further. People might be able to take them punches. better. But I can say this. He is a real puncher. Like, every time I seen him moved up, he carried that power with him. So I'm not going to take that. I think that's probably ESPN talking about a new way now. Yep, sure did. Yep, Mike Coppinger. And then the next fight we're going to have, oh, shoot. Natasha Jonas is going to fight Michaela Mayer. Oh, wow, the 20th. And then we got Arthur Beterbiev on January the 13th. Oh, man, I don't, I don't like that Michaela Mayer fight with Jonas. I'm worried about that. He said Inoue is a real deal talent kid. Nah, he, he is. He is. He's very talented. To be honest with you, um, like I said, I didn't believe the power was real like that. But once I see him move up in every weight class, it carries like how it does. He said, he said Michaela Dunn. I ain't going to lie, one thing I can say about Michaela Mayer, she's not so easily dispatched, but I'm rooting for Natasha Jonas. I like Natasha Jonas. Oh, he said my bae did something to her self-esteem. You talk about, first of all, hold on, hold on, Stephen Automat. 
I know you ain't talking about bum going to bum go. I'm, I'm gonna have to bang the gavel on you. Come on, come on, see. First of all, everybody know that that's wife. So you might have to, you know, what I mean, you might have to get one of these other boxing chicks. She mine, champ. Who block? Who, who's blossom, right? We said McKay look look like blossom, a little attractive. That was a show. Oh no, Steve Stephen L. the Mac. We go. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. We, we, we gotta stop this man. He said Big Bang Theory. Oh, uh, with glasses. I remember that show. He said Power Puff. Yeah, the way y'all talking, y'all y'all gotta subscribe to my children's channel. Way y'all, the way y'all talking, you know what I mean? Y'all got to subscribe to my nerd chat. And also subscribe to Drew uh, Titans Big Cave Entertainment. He had a very good live yesterday, too, as well. That's his nerd channel. So everybody should have nerd channels. But, um, yeah, yo, I'm, I'm just looking forward, man. How much time I got? I don't want to go over junior. Okay, okay, I got, I got some time. Oh, you said Blossom from Powerpuff Girls. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, now, nah, but he's saying Brian is saying that Blossom was a show. Look that up. Y'all are crazy, man. I get y'all two in the morning time. Look at this. Okay, I'm looking it up. It was a show. Oh, she couldn't dress. I ain't going front, champ. She couldn't dress. Horrible. Yeah, you could tell this was 90s. Oof. Ooh, they could, it's terrible dressing. He said, yeah, I missed that live. I was sad. Laugh out loud. I ain't gonna lie. I only knew two characters he talked about. Uh, D-Man Jr. said, yeah. He said, he said, Blossom, uh, 90s. <laughs> I missed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I must have missed that. Missed that. But I remember Full House. I used to watch the reruns with my mama. He said Blossom was. You found you found her attractive. Oh my God, yeah. Where's KG at? KG, where your gavel at? You gonna need a gavel. Oh my God, he said he said he liked Blossom. I'm about to get Doctor Umar over here. Tell him D Man Junior bunny hopping. I'm about to get Doctor Umar over here. Where I'm about to have Doctor Umar come on the show today. I bet y'all won't be making no comments like that no more. 
<laughs> Brian is stupid. He said, Monster in New Ways, number two. And look, I'm not, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Monster New Way is number two. Because, like I said, I got to look at the person that you got the belt from. He said, I bet I would. All right, I'm going to get Dr. Umar on the show. I'm going to get Dr. Umar on the show. <laughs> yeah, 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 facts. Facts. I can't mess with y'all. Y'all always make the show go left. I feel what 78 and everybody talk about. Y'all horrible in the chat. Y'all horrible, bro. Y'all horrible. Y'all made the show go left. I was talking about a new way. Then we then we went from Pokemon to Blossom to Powerpuff Girls and oh Yu-Gi-Oh. Let me not forget Yu-Gi-Oh. We went there. We when when y'all could be talking about this type of stuff on my nerd channel. That's why I got the nerd channel for. That's literally what I got that channel for. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all terrible. Stephen Elder Mac, yeah, in a good way though. Stephen Elder Mac, because Pokemon that 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 was my joint back in the day. It was. I can't front. But um, a new way's number two. Crawford's number one. Crawford beat Earl. I I can't I can't go around that and try to give him more credit than Earl. I mean uh than Crawford because Crawford beat a high caliber opponent like Earl. So I'm gonna leave that. Where it's at. Said Newis has the has the best chin I've seen on AK. Yeah, because he did get caught with a couple of shots. He did. He said Dev number three. Would the Regis win? You think he number three? I, I gotta think about that. Uh he's in the top. Don't get me wrong. He's he's there, but I'm just thinking like. Cause I, I like I said, I go by the person that you. Yeah, maybe he could be there. Maybe he could be two division world champion, one time undisputed. Yeah, maybe he could be there. It's definitely between him and Usyk, cause Usyk was undisputed, and then he beat Joshua and Dubois. At, uh, if he get the, you know what? If he get the Tyson Fury win, it's gonna be an argument there where he need to be at. If he get the Tyson Fury win, yeah, no, Regis is a good fighter, bro. Trust and believe. I'm not. You ain't gonna see me taking that away from him. Regis is a damn good fighter. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, so you one of them people, Stephen Odomack, we can't put heavy weights on, on pound for pound list. Hold on, y'all. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. He said Donito Donaire hurt um his eye. I mean, but anybody I could get hurt. Stephen Elder Mac. You just gotta get hit the right way. He said facts. Bang the gavel on yourself for putting a heavyweight. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, first of all, first of all, stop blaspheming. Stop blaspheming, D Man Junior. I, I, that's that is one of the rules that doesn't happen. The gavel don't get banged on the judge. So get that out of your head. Get that out of your head, D Man Junior. We don't ever bang the gavel. On. It would have to be so appalling the crime that then I would have to bang the gavel on myself. But I haven't did anything that is irredeemable. So, no, no, stop. Don't don't even let the thought into your little heart of me banging the gavel on myself or nobody else for that matter. I'm not the only person that put a heavyweight on a pound for pound. That's why I kind of wish KB, KG was still in the chat. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think me and him both did. A couple of us did. And you got to remember, he was a cruiserweight. And then he turned heavyweight. So we can't do that. 